Hey, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, Barax. Barax uh, experiencing some issues, uh, getting in trouble with the regulators. Uh, but before we get into that uh, important information, if this is your first time on this channel, guys, find the big red subscribe button and even click on the bell notification icon. Uh, that way, every single time I go live with a new piece of content, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to that very important information. I've been in this industry for quite a while. Uh, been online since 2006. Been in the MLM industry uh, since the late 80s. Okay, So I've seen a lot of companies, platforms, systems, and even heavy-hitting marketers come and go. And... I noticed that the great majority of people don't know what to look for um, when trying to find a legitimate way out of their financial life. Meaning a lot of people come online um, trying to find a way to maybe replace their income so that they could be boss free and self-reliant. But most people just don't know what to look for but since i've been around for so long um it has come uh easy for me it's like second nature so subscribe and even click on the bell notification icon that way every single time um you know i might save you your nest egg is what i'm trying to say here it's always good um to get information from several different sources. But one, one thing I can guarantee you is the information here will serve you, okay? I'm also gonna ask you guys to like this video and share this video so that these type of videos will get more exposure and help even more people. There's a lot of scams, guys. Uh, you don't wanna waste time getting involved with a scam, okay? It's just time and money down the drain and one thing I've noticed is, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people who get burnt in the beginning, especially when they're they're new online. And there's some intermediate marketers as well who've been around for years. But the thing is, it kind of haunts you like a plague, like a. Um, if people get scammed, you get ripped off in a scheme it's going to affect your mindset it's going to affect the way you look at the whole industry and then after a while you're going to be so skeptical that everything's going to turn out to be a scam now i notice Barax is being promoted by some heavy hitters okay um and one gentleman came to me and he said hey rory um i know some of the leaders promoting Barax and even daisy and there's no way that it can be a scam, either Barax or Daisy AI. That's another deal uh, created by Endotech. There's no way that they could be scams because we know some of the heavy hitters and there's no way they're going to play around with their, their um, credibility, with their reputation. And what I got to say to you guys is, yeah, I think a, a lot of heavy hitters nowadays, It's I think that they, they're just gone gone to the point where they're taking their own success that they worked hard for with legitimate companies platforms and systems they earned they earned their results in the past and i think that they've gotten you see when you when you, you have to earn it you have to earn your results okay in anything in life in business if you don't earn it a lot of people come online and they think oh we just want to you know find something that works like a passive system and drop some money down and you know get rich and become successful but in the back of your mind in your unconscious um, you're a physical being as well as a spiritual being so you're just like everyone else and the thing is being here on earth down here on this planet in this universe in the back of your mind you want to earn it unconsciously if you don't earn something, you, you, we see it with the lottery. Lottery ticket. We're going to get into into the fraud warnings and barracks. Okay. I'm not here trying to bash these systems. I just want to show you some, some clear red flags. We're going to get into that in just a moment. But before that, something very important. We've seen it time and time with the lottery ticket mentality. People win 
some people will win the lottery and they could win millions and then within a year they're broke again not everyone but a lot of people it has happened to and it's one of the one of the reasons is their mindset they weren't ready to um receive what they were asking for they were asking for maybe millions of dollars and they weren't mentally readily available to accept it and the second thing was they didn't earn it if you don't earn it you don't have any respect for it um any business that gives you success which these don't really because they keep scamming out Barax hasn't scammed out it's still up and running people are still recruiting heavily into it but what i'm trying to say if you don't earn it you're not going to respect it and you won't stick around long so unconsciously just know that if you don't earn something you're not going to feel good about it and you're probably just going to piss it away now with the heavy hitters uh, they've earned their success in the past you won't believe what some of these people have gone through to get to where they are and now it's like they've taken it all for granted maybe they forgot where they started and when that happens when you forget your roots when you you forget what was important right even right now knowing what's important in your life there are some things that everyone needs to pay attention to your family uh, your obligations if you have a job if you're lucky enough to have a job during global pandemic you have responsibilities you signed up for something and then you have a home life and maybe you have a family maybe you have children maybe you have a spouse or maybe you're taking care of your parents so you guys have obligations these obligations right now are paramount so never forget what is important and why you're doing whatever you're doing so a lot of heavy hitters nowadays i think have forgotten why they first came in and they have forgotten what they were paying attention to what what should be important and now i think they're just they think they're invincible and because of greed they're not paying attention so just because you might think oh this guy or girl i know which i admire some of them sure what they have done online are admirable okay but you might be saying well they're in promoting barracks it must be legit and i'm going to say no and they know the only way that you could make money with a scam is number one you have to know that it is okay now we're going to talk about fraud warning in bc okay so this is what this happened uh january 26 um almost a month before the south african regulator dropped the hammer on barracks in south africa so basically what both of these so the barracks now has two fraud warnings by securities regulator and for those of for those people who don't know what a security is, is yet it's anything like an investment that offers you a return on your investment by law they have to register with the government whether you like it or not i see a lot of people going around uh trying to justify why joining a scam is is okay oh the banks are a scam the government's a scam maybe but the thing is the government is being run by the super wealthy like the one percent of the population that controls everyone right that controls the gas prices controls the, gr the prices in your grocery store controls every tom dick and harry the majority of people that has you can notice people commuting to their jobs early in the morning they're all in competition with each other they're all against each other they're all uh oh lack of time oh we got we're in a hurry we are important so the super wealthy they know things they know that they know how the common man or woman thinks and if you want to change your life you can't think just like everyone else every the majority of people out there have a me first attitude me first attitude is a me last attitude so just as in the morning when you're going to work if you do commute to a job in the morning if you drive through heavy traffic then you know every tom dick and harry's cutting off everyone else everyone's in a hurry 
And this is the this is the problem. This is why the super wealthy controls the, the population, because everyone in the, in the common folk are against each other, right? Everyone's against each. Everyone is separate, right? Together we are unified, unified, and divided we shall fall. Very important rule. So the government is being controlled by the super wealthy and the government governs the you know jurisdictions so british columbia as an example any bank um i live in canada i live in ontario canada this is from the province of bc and what they're saying is it's a fraud warning in bc barack's claims to be located in australia and it claims to offer investment currency interest rates and commodity swap we are aware that Barack's accepts British Columbia residents. That means that uh, most likely a lot of BC residents have signed up as clients for Barack's, maybe passive investors and maybe uh, as well as promoting. If you're getting, if you, you don't want to get caught promoting this in BC, um, I'm going to explain why in just a moment. Barack is not registered to trade in or advise on securities or derivatives in BC. We urge BC residents to exercise caution when dealing with firms that are not registered to trade or advise in BC. So basically, in a nutshell, if you get caught promoting, right, this uh, Barack's opportunity in British Columbia, Canada, you can get in trouble with the regulator there. Okay, and you're not going to get some guy with glasses and a suit and tie who's going to send some mail out what they do is they send the police okay and since you're dealing with investments right uh this this is worse than getting into a car accident right according to the government deemed what they care about they don't like any competition um one thing i gotta say with barracks there's no proof of any revenue outside of network marketing recruitment the only revenue that i see Going into barracks since I've been in the game for so long, meaning I've been an online marketer, seen many systems come and go. They're not showing any proof of any revenue, of any trading, any legitimacy. Okay, they've got like some lady, young lady, Susan Pope, I believe her name is. Um, what is she like, CMO or some big title like that? She looks like Mary Poppins. Okay, a young Mary Poppins, those of you not in the US or Canada may not know who the heck Mary Poppins is, but you know, Mary Poppins, just go look her up. She looks like, this is like a Russian version of Mary Poppins giving you guys, oh, it has to be legit. I mean, look at her. She's so sweet and innocent. She's cute. She couldn't rip you off. There's no way in hell. It has to be legitimate. And then there was Brandon, right? So, anyway, all that is meaningless because in BC, if you get caught promoting, they're going to send RCMP. They send the ugliest. They don't send the prettiest cops to your house. They send the ugliest biggest cops that they can find will come to you and say you got to come to us to the police station uh, for investigation right one way or another just for questioning and and that's just a horrible even if you're not charged and you're just you know being scrutinized i don't want a uh, rcmp showing up in front of my house i'm just trying to paint a picture because some people are not taking this oh it's network marketing no it's pretty damn serious this cop here it's federal police in canada um it's equivalent to the federal police in the u.s it's big shit you get these guys to your house investigating you they build a they're gonna try and build a case on you and if they do they're gonna try and put you in front so get you charged and get you in front of a judge once you go in front of a judge and if you get caught promoting it's it's pretty well game over you're gonna you're looking at a conviction i would say a hundred percent um i would i wouldn't say a hundred percent but the, the the percentage rate 
that you could get convicted is very high. It's very high. If you get in front of a judge, then you can go to jail. You get a conviction, you can go to jail. So to me, it's not worth a network marketing opportunity that most of you are still unsure about. Okay. And so that's, that's what you're looking at here, fraud warning in BC. And on February 19th, so that BC one, January 26th, now, here's one from South Africa, February 19th, South African Authority, meaning they're the ones that govern, the FSCA governs uh, securities, they're the regulator for South Africa. They've threatened uh, to contact Australia, they said they're going to contact Australia Security, ASIC, and usually it's a domino effect. So once one gets involved, Here's BC, then you got South Africa, then for now there isn't any more that I know of, but then as an example, you can get like an Australia fraud warning, and then you can get one in another part of Canada. And then here's the thing that I've noticed. Traffic. Traffic going into Barracks.com, United States, 12.1%. I noticed they've been blocking traffic from the UK for some reason, which is kind of, I don't know why, um, but that was brought to my attention. But anyways, most of the traffic in the world coming from the US, 12.1%, 9.9% from South Africa still, even after the fraud warning in South Africa, you guys can get in shit over there, get charged and convicted, I, I don't know and Canada 8.9%. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to close off here. Here's a review I did. Someone somehow bumped it on Google. There's a guy. Let me just type in Barack's review. Must have did some kind of black hat. My article, oh, my article's shown again. Okay, I don't know what, this guy might know something about SEO. Here's my article right here. I'm gonna show it to you in just a moment. Um, this is one, uh, some guy, I think, somewhere in Africa, based on his name, Nuanko Chukwuko Buka. I'm not trying to butcher his name, guys. I'm not really good. Some guy came to me the other day, he said, hey, Rory, where, what's your real name? And where are you really from? And I'm like, what kind of comment is that? I grew up here in Ontario, Canada, and that's where I am right now. And then I think, I don't know if, he, if he's trying to make a racist comment about me and saying, thinking, oh, Rory's brown guy, his last name's Singh, so he should be from India. What, what the hell does that mean? Seriously, guy says, Rory, where are you from? And what's your real name? My real name is Rory. I don't control what my mom named me. She liked a cricketer. I, I was born in a country called Guyana in South America. At the young age of three, came to on Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. My parents just brought me there. Dropped me, boom, in Ottawa. I grew up here, and then that's where they're like, oh, he doesn't talk like Indian accent. Because, fuck, I'm not even from India, but yeah, sure, maybe a couple generations, right? A hundred years ago, I got roots in India, you know, being a brown man, right? Of course, but West Indian family heritage from South South America in Guyana. I just got to say that, right? I mean, like Caribbean type of country. And then they dropped me, three-year-old child, into Ottawa. And I grew up here, right? That's where we got the accent. Don't even talk like, uh, you know, like a real Guyanese. Some of these racist people and they're trying to make money online we're here to lose the judgment we're here to you know remove all the blocks to the presence of love guys so that we could find and attract success to us not here to create more bullshit. but anyways i just have to say that because i said something about this fellow nuanko chukuwuku buka okay he wrote a review and even stole the image right it's at Barack's review. 
Anyways, half of his article here, it looks like he stole from another website. You can just copy and paste all of this stuff. You don't have to believe that or not. But what this is, is a guy, hopefully he's not in BC, hopefully he's not in South Africa. Maybe he's in another part of Africa. Maybe he's in the US where they have the SEC, right? But Nuanko Shakuukubuka is trying to wean you guys in. So it's it's a sugar-coated review, right? Trying to get you into the deal. Here's the affiliate link. I don't know why it says not found. Maybe Barax is Hey man, you copied and pasted most of your article and still <laughs> you're not having so anyways over here for some reason it says not found. Maybe Barax is doing some um, upgrades on their system. Hopefully, hopefully they didn't scam exit yet. I didn't I didn't think they'd scam exit that quick. But this is just a sugar coated version um, to tell people this is what's happening. That's the reason you're getting these fraud warnings because network marketers are saying stuff you know I've got nothing against network marketing I've been in the MLM industry since the late 80s right used to go door-to-door -door selling water filters for a water filter MLM company that's legit that's still around up to now if you guys love MLM I would say go out and find a legitimate MLM company and market that with this here it comes down to your credibility you don't want something that scams out did you get a whole bunch of people into the deal and then a whole bunch of people got to lose money so that you could make money that's not the best way to to build your credibility just like the heavy hitters um there's no way that they keep can keep promoting scams if in the past um they've earned their success it's just a universal law you gotta in order to earn success you go to give value right you gotta help other people but if you're putting other people <coughs> into scams, then that's not that's the opposite of earning earning and giving value. That's the opposite of giving value. That's giving destruction. If the majority of people in a company like Barax, in order for um, a few people to make money at the top, meaning people who get in early, in order for them to succeed and make the lion's shares of the profit, the great majority have to lose. So you're not giving anyone value here. Hopefully you follow. Anyways, I made many different points here. I've given a lot of nuggets of value. Um, hopefully you guys can understand value from things that aren't value. Okay. So I'm going to close this video off here. I predict based on what we're seeing here, since Barax is very new, that they are going to scam out they are going to pull a scam exit on you guys um but currently because of what i'm seeing what i think is happening here well what is happening here and you guys are seeing alexa.com search for barracks.com up here right so we're all seeing this together i'm not making this up most of the traffic still coming from the u.s from South Africa and from Canada right now in the US they haven't received a US Securities and Exchange fraud warning yet this is the, the big bad boy right here <coughs> if they get something out of Texas usually something like like this happens in Texas fraud warning out of Texas Commission it's usually game over for these type of opportunities so I predict uh, you're going to get another fraud warning from another regulator and then most likely another regulator. Okay. Um, and as, as these things publicly happen, that the big boy government regulators start issuing fraud warnings against Barack's network re recruitment is going to die down if it hasn't already. And it's going to trigger a scam runner exit. Um, this is not the person who owns it, right? Uh, I did a review on, um, <coughs> on it 
and I watched the video, Brandon Watts, fake made up name, whether you believe it or not. And uh, Susan Pope, fake made up name, actor. These are actors, either they're uh, Russians or from the Ukraine, Russian scammers, you know, very well known for these type of uh, deals where they create fake fake front people these are not the owners of the company these people are being told what to do by uh baba yaga you guys know who baba yaga is if you watch i <laughs> forget it i'm not gonna even show you a picture some of you guys who watched that movie with keanu reeves uh probably know what i'm talking about baba yaga All right uh heavy russian uh, businessman who are anonymous are running the scheme anyways guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys on the next review or if i hear and get any more news about barracks thank you for watching have have yourself a great day